number one. My goal is to be, you know, in, in the United States and Canada, to be in every smartphone. If we're in every smartphone in the one device that people carry, research indicates they will turn on the radio, especially at a time when we know that in the United States about 8 billion hours of local radio are listened to in the data network, streaming. And that could all be put over to the terrestrial side at no cost to the consumer. And obviously, you know, the, the cost differential between streaming and our terrestrial signal is monumental. And I use the example, we got a radio station in Los Angeles, cost us $39,000 a year for electricity. So for $39,000 a year, I can reach one person in LA or 15 million. But if I took my tower down and I transmitted through the data networks, my cost to reach my listeners would be over a million dollars a year, and my listeners' cost would be more. So $39,000 versus $2 million, and that doesn't even include music licensing costs. So we know that if the radio's there and consumption is free, that people will listen more. So that's one. The other part I didn't get into is that we have the ability with the interactive tuner in smartphones to do interactive advertising, coupons, location-based services. We believe that in 10 years, that'll be as big a business as the American radio. Well, I, I think it might even be bigger. Yeah, so. Uh, less so, time than that. Yeah, so so we think that's the, that's the future. That's why, but we have to be in every device. We're now gonna be in automobiles with this. We're going to be now in, in, in tablets because, again, what we did is we just, it's not only turning on the chip, it's building an interactive ecosystem where you see the album art when a song comes up, when you get information about the artist, where you can rate records, share it with your friends, download commercials. So all those things make take advantage of our traditional strength, which is interactivity.